Hello viewers, welcome to this video lecture series on operating systems. In this session, I shall explain the different system calls for process. For process control, we have four wait and exe system calls. So let me first give the introduction, then I'll explain or I'll, I'll show you the demo programs how to implement this fork wait and exe system call. What are system calls exactly? System calls provide an interface to the services made available by an operating system. So in simpler words, you can remember like this. It is a method used in the user program to get a service from the kernel of the operating system. Now, whatever programs the users are typing, okay, that comes under the user mode. And we have the another mode of execution. We call it as the kernel mode. So this way you can always remember the modes are two types. One is the user mode and another is the kernel mode. Kernel is the heart of the operating system. So kernel mode has got direct access to the resources that is the me memory but user mode does not have the direct access to the memory. Now the same thing I have written here user level programs when they require the services or resources to complete their task they can make use of the system calls. So here I will be showing you the interface that is existing between the user mode and the kernel mode. So before that you can just check the system calls are grouped roughly into six categories. We have the process control under file manipulation we have system calls device manipulation we have the system calls information maintenance communication and protection in this session whatever i am explaining is about the process control system calls and those are for ex exec wait these three system calls i wanted to give you the demo programs also how do you use this in your user program to get the output or to get the services whatever services the user needs the user is making use of these system calls and it will complete its job now these three system calls also are what under the these three system calls comes under the operating system that is the they are pertaining to the unix operating system now for windows operating systems the same functionality is used with other names i have given one such example here see i can show you examples for windows examples for unix now for a for this first category only I have put here like this see whatever is here no process control the same thing I am writing here which are the different uh, system calls for windows and for unix likewise you can refer the textbook to check which are the system calls available for files devices information communication and protection now for this process control under windows we have create process exit process wait for single object for unix it is for exit wait exec actually exec i have included here now in the in this session i'll explain you with for wait and exec definitely and also i'll tell you about the exit system call so let me show you here first illustration wherein i am including one okay program so this is the program written by the user if you observe this program you are making use of printf statement now what exactly is happening the c library will intercept this call and invokes the necessary system calls in the operating system in this example the right system call which one is that right system call so hope you are following now you can check here see this is the interface standard c library what i am showing here whatever is here is the user mode and then whatever is here is the kernel mode in the kernel mode you can see the right system call whereas in the user mode you are able to see the printf statement so this c library will intercept this call of the printf and it will invoke the corresponding system call here in this example for printf the corresponding system call is right then the c library will take the value returned by the right and passes back to the user program so here i have shown you one illustration there is one more illustration so for this i have written standard c library handling the right system call under file manipulation we have one more system called as open so this one is your system call interface user application that means user program the user program has got this open system call included in the program this is the kernel mode whatever comes below this interface is the kernel mode here is the user mode user has used what the system call open now the system call interface will intercept this system call and it will fetch what the complete implementation of the open system call and it will return to the user application so these two illustrations why i am showing here is one you can see the user is making use of the printf statement and 
the corresponding system call is invoked here in the kernel mode this is one possibility one more is system call can be directly used in the user program only and the definition that is the implementation of the system call wherever it is present here in the memory the system call interface will fetch the functioning of the open system call and it will return to the user application in the same way we are going to see the system calls related to the process control we have for wait exec so how these system calls are working in the user program the very first one will start with fork in simpler words i can say fork system call creates another process with a different pid what is pid pid is a unique number assigned once a process gets created so we say it is a process identifier now for every program whatever the user writes a program in execution becomes a process and every process will get a unique number called as the pid the pid of a process can be known by using this system call we call it as get pid with this you can come to know what the pid of any process now first without using the fork system call let us just find out the pid of a particular program so for that i'll start writing the code here let me write one simple program once you execute this program suppose you are giving for this as file file 1 as the name of the program so definitely you will compile this at compilation command cc file 1 once you compile you will try to run the program and see the output dot slash a dot out then here in the output you are going to see two lines because you have written two printf statements one is hello everyone and the second line gets printed is my process id is so randomly i'll give some number here so 5932 something so this is the process id this particular program got now this is a program in in which we have not used to the fork system call so now i'll write a second program wherein i'm using the fork system call and in order to make the system calls get executed you need to include additional here in the program i am just writing now what i am doing is in this program including the fork system call so what is the functionality of the fork system call it will create a new process it will create a duplicate process so next time when you execute this program like now you will be executing this program by including this fork system call what will be the output the output will be like this it will print in the output hello everyone and it will print once again hello everyone so two times the output gets printed here this printf statement you can see here it is the reason is because of this fork system call it has created a duplicate process the duplicate process is called as the child process and the program which was written the process which has created that means this program which was there that becomes your parent process so in the program when you write fork system call this fork will create what a child process and the child process will also execute the output or whatever statements are there in the program even that process will get execute will execute those lines of code as well as the parent process will also execute those lines of code that is why here you are able to see two lines here one one time this printf statement is getting printed by the parent process and one time it is getting printed by the child process suppose if i include this for one more time in the program like this now i am including for the second time that means two times so what will happen here the hello everyone this output statement gets printed four times because your original program was there we call it that as a parent process you have called for the first time the fork system call so it will create the child process and the parent process will always be there this one this is always be there that means the child process and the parent process will execute now concurrently that is why first time this hello everyone gets printed by the child and hello everyone gets printed by the parent process now you are including one more time the fork system call so now this fork is applicable even to this child process and even to this parent process so now this child process will create another process so i can give the name as c1 and this is for c1 c is the parent so c is also there then for this particular process p this will create child process and this is the parent of c2 so p will also be there 
so this way you can see now hello everyone gets printed four times one time by c1 second time by c third time by c2 and fourth time by p if you try to include fork one more time in the program that is you are writing three times the system call now what will happen if i am including here fork again okay for the third time this fork is applicable to this process this process this process and this all the four so each process will create now the child process c1 will create a child process c3 and c1 is the parent of c3 so c1 will also be there next this is the c so c will create a child process c4 c is the parent for c4 then c2 will create a child process so it is c5 c2 is a parent of c5 then c p will create a child process c6 and p is the parent of c6 so totally if you observe here how many process are there 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 eight processes got created and this printf statement hello everyone gets printed eight times okay one by each process this statement is getting printed by each of this process that's why you can see in the output eight times hello everyone gets printed so normally how to find out number of processes that gets created whenever you are using the fork system call we use this formula in order to find out just write 2 to the power of n where n is number of times the fork is used in the program if you see for the first time in the first example i showed only fork once so when n is 1 you saw that the hello everyone got printed only two times next time you made fork two times to appear in the program so 2 to the power of 2 hello everyone got printed four times in the program next time you made fork system call appearing three times in the program so 2 to the power of 3 it is eight times the hello everyone got printed and if at all you want to find out how many child processes are there see in this example how many 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 totally 8 processes are there but number of child processes are 7 and this last one is what the parent process if you see just back track this one this one this one this was your first uh, starting process so that is only one so you can make use of this formula again number of child processes you can find out by this formula 2 to the power of n minus of 1 so in this example if n is 3 then you will get 8 minus 1 7 7 child processes are there you can see here 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 7 seven child processes are there in this example so now whenever a process gets created that is a duplicate process get created you should what will happen for the resources for that newly created child process and how the execution is happening now let me come to the execution later now let us see about the resources whatever resources were allocated to the parent fine the parent got these resources from the operating system whenever a child process gets created even the child process may get what the resources from the operating system or there is a possibility that there is the child process will inherit the resources from the parent process and once again in inherit under this you have two situations either the parent process will share the resources okay or it will partition that means it will divide the resources and it will give it to the child process so these are the different possibilities now coming to the execution part the parent process and the child process run concurrently this is what we have seen also in the example when you saw the output hello everyone you got what the output getting printed two times one by the child process and one by the parent process so these two processes were what executing parallelly so there is definitely what concurrent execution happening 
or there is one more possibility the parent has to wait until the child completes its execution now when this two sentences got printed in the output this hello everyone the first one is it by the parent or the child process we don't know the second one is it from the child or the parent we don't know since it is a concurrent execution when you run the program you will get the output first time the operating system may select the child process second time the parent process when you run the same program again you will see that first from the parent and the child you are including here two statements in the printf statement one is hello everyone another is good day so first time the parent process will get executed hello everyone and good day second time the child process will get executed good day and hello everyone when you run the out program again first this part may get executed good day and everyone second time this may get executed or you may have a po another possibility also like good day good day hello everyone hello so all different possibilities are there any one line from parent any one line from the child will get executed and you are going to see a mix of the statements from the parent and the child process now how to find out which lines are from the parent process and which lines are from the child process for that we have a method we have a mechanism we should check the return value to this fork system call so this one i'll explain you with an example so till now this is the introduction to the system calls and how fork system call can be used in the program hope you find this session useful if you find it useful please like share and subscribe to my channel thank you bye bye and take care.